Hello all. In continuation to my previous lecture on homogeneous function, I want to give some more examples uh, using some different functions so that the concept get more clear in identifying whether the function is homogeneous or not. So let's take one example. The first one I have taken function of 3 variable x, y, z equals to 1 upon x cube plus y cube plus z cube. So I have given you the explanation of with the help of one of the definition but I want you to all to understand that how without applying any one of the three forms we can see that whether it is a um, homogeneous function or not. So for that you have to see first what kind of function is in front of you whether it is polynomial or linear or whether it is a uh, rational expression like here I have 1 upon so I'll call it a rational expression the numerator function is 1 which is constant denominator function is having three terms each term is having degree 3 so what you need to check is if you have a numerator you have a rational expression where something is in the numerator and something is in the denominator you have to find out what is the degree of the numerator separately and it should be homogeneous if there is a one term so the degree is zero here the denominator has a three terms but i have to check that whether they are maintaining the same degree so here the three terms are maintaining same degree x cube y cube z cube so it is homogeneous of degree three so if you see the numerator denominator separately as a homogeneous expression and if the final function will be the difference of these two 0 minus 3 so the degree is 0 minus 3 so yes it is homogeneous function and degree is minus 3 not 3 0 minus 3 is minus 3 so here also you can see that by putting lambda x lambda y lambda z we get lambda to the power minus 3 and the function is back now the second example is where I have taken function of two variable and the function is sine of y by x plus x by y. Now in such function where I have a one term as a sine function and another as a rational what we will see the degree of numerator denominator is same degree of numerator denominator is same that is 1 1 it will get cancelled why because if you have a trigonometric term or any of the inverse trigonometric term or exponential term or logarithmic term then it should have a it should get cancelled the power should not be available over there should be having the same degree now with the help of this explanation i have taken lambda y lambda x in place of y and x and same after cancellation we get this function back and since there is no lambda outside so we can write down lambda to the power zero so yes it is homogeneous function of degree zero so you get that it is homogeneous function degree zero so this is done now let's see the third example. In the third example, I have taken function of two variable, which is e to the power x square plus y square. Now here this is going to be uh, something which we should pay attention that what to do in this case. In this case, let's see with the help of one of the explanation. Here I have replaced x by lambda x. So lambda square x square plus lambda square y square for y square. And after simplification, we got a lambda lambda square outside in the power and along with x square plus y square but at this stage i am stuck why because i cannot take lambda square out of the exponent and it, i can write I write it like a lambda square e to the power x square plus y square i can't write it so since i am not getting back my function i am not having this function as a homogeneous function so it is not homogeneous So this function is not homogeneous function. Similarly, let's see the fourth example. Here I have taken function of two variable log of x square plus y square. Again, the same kind of scenario. When you put x is equals to lambda x and y is equals to lambda y, we get a lambda square common in but within the expression of this log. And there is no rule which can take a lambda square out of the log and we can face that lambda square times log of x square plus y square. We don't have that any kind of rule. So again, this is not homogeneous function. So again, I can say this is not a homogeneous function, not homogeneous. So you must be observing that if you have these functions with some polynomial and it 
not go get back into any one of the fall definition format but let's see some more example to make things clearer i have taken example number five where uh, the function is again e to the power previous example i have taken e to the power but there it was x square plus y square now i have taken the rational expression in the rational expression it is y by x so in y by x we see the y is having degree one denominator x is also having degree one now when they are having same degree and you apply any one of the definition or i have taken the lambda substitution definition and lambda will get cancelled e to the power y by x is back and we can say yes it is homogeneous function y because returning back with the function and having uh, outside if it is nothing so you can write like that lambda to the power zero so yes you can say it is homogeneous function and degree is degree is zero this is degree zero sixth example i have taken just to make the cl things clear that if these functions are having some expression that what should be the function so that it become the homogeneous and when it can't become the homogeneous i have taken cos inverse x square minus y square upon x square plus y square here if you see the numerator expression is maintaining the degree two each two denominator is also degree two and if i put lambda lambda square lambda square in the numerator lambda square in the denominator get cancelled you get the function back and if the function back and there is no lambda visible outside i can write down lambda to the power zero and get into any one of the format of my definition and uh, this is a homogeneous function so yes it is homogeneous function and the degree is what is the degree degree is zero now see the third seventh example in the seventh example i have taken again this one of these functions here taken sine inverse again it is a rational expression but here the rest, rational expression has some problem visible what is that because the numerator is having degree x square plus y square means two degree and denominator is x plus one means degree one so what happened here that if you see from this explanation that if you put lambda square here and if lambda lambda one lambda is again inside and there is no method no rule by which it can come out and you can write a lambda times sine inverse so not possible so here it is not homogeneous not homogeneous now i want to explain these examples once more to just make the things clear that apart from pure polynomial and pure rational expression if you are having a function means those are the functions in the previous lecture i have discussed with you but if you see these 14 functions six trigonometric six inverse trigonometric and one algorithm uh, exponential and the logarithmic function if these functions are having function of x and y or x y z any number of variables and we want to check whether it is homogeneous or not for that first of all they should be rational because if you see the previous example wherein i have taken this polynomial expression x square plus y square x square plus y square anything any uh, it's not only the x square plus y square anything if you have a only polynomial means a single expression there is always lambda left over and you cannot get back with the definition and this is very with shorty you can say that it is not homogeneous but in case of rational we have to be more clearer that in such cases in these my fifth and sixth i got a homogeneous function but in the seventh i am not getting homogeneous what is the reason how i can judge without putting the lambda and all that you just have to check that if you are having any of these 14 function and having some expression this expression first of all should be rational number one there is a number one requirement it should be rational something should be in the numerator something should be in the denominator and then you should have that to be a homogeneous function of degree zero because if the degree is not zero lambda will not get cancelled and you won't get the function back so here we see that degree one one same degree it should be of rational with same degree numerator denominator should be same degree same then it will be homogeneous here y by x same degree 
y and x here x square minus y square numerator denominator same degree get cancel homogeneous here not same not homogeneous get my point so this is one of the clue by which you can uh, ensure that whether it is homogeneous or not in the eighth example i have taken the function where one term is a, a root of y square minus x square and the other one is sine inverse of x by y so let's see with the help of this explanation in this side where i have taken y square to be lambda square y square minus lambda square x square and sine inverse of lambda if you see the term any trigonometric or inverse trigonometric or exponential that should maintain the degree same then it can they are safe in the format so here lambda will get cancelled and any other expression whether in plus or in the multiplication we see that lambda will come out and i see it is yes it is a homogeneous function of degree yes this is homogeneous function this is homogeneous function and what is the degree degree is one here right let's see one two more examples i take one more two more examples here i have taken f of x y x to the power 5 by 2 plus y to the power 5 by 2 upon x to the power 3 by 2 plus y to the power 3 by 2 so it's a rational so the same logic what i'll see that first i will see the numerator are they maintaining the same power though they are single single term here 5 by 2 okay here 5 by 2 okay the numerator degree is 5 by 2 done the denominator 3 by 2 3 by 2 done then i i have a homogeneous function then what is the degree of the homogeneous function see the power in the numerator minus power in the denominator and their degree difference is giving you 2 by 2 which is equals to 1 so yes it is homogeneous function what is the degree of this function is 1 so when you simplify you get a 5 minus 3 is equals to 2 2 by 2 is equals to 1 now the tenth question i have taken a polynomial and it is not homogeneous very clearly visible why because the power is 4 power is 4 here power is 2 so it's not homogeneous not homogeneous i hope with the help of example uh, you must have a clarity about how to check whether it is homogeneous function or not with the all the 14 function or pure rational or it's a polynomial thank you